So this is one of my biggest criticisms I had of render. The whole rendering market was valued at $3.11 billion. And right now, render is sitting at, I believe, uh, $1.8 billion, and it's actually gotten well past that point. So it is kind of crazy, you know, to see render get so high, $4 billion market cap, but the whole the whole rendering industry isn't even worth remotely that close. And I thought that was bearish for render. But then I started looking more into the use cases and I actually found out a genius use case, which is where I think we're going with this, which opens us up to the biggest market ever. And this is just one portion of render. So what am I talking about? Well, it really comes to AR. And let's break down exactly how that's going to work in the partnerships already in place for render that I believe they are going to really start to take over. So the first thing we need to understand is NVIDIA. Um, they're starting to talk about, you know, future AI generated textures, uh, objects in gaming. And there's already a lot of reasons why you'd want to use the render network to basically be able to render anything on demand. Remember, the render network is a render farm, which we already have uh, right now, but it's just the cheapest, most efficient way to do it. And, and I'll show you guys that at the end. So Render has a partnership with NVIDIA. Now, specifically, this partnership is the NVIDIA Omniverse, which is important because this allows them to work with the, they, ha they have been using this with the Apple Vision Pro to render some amazing stuff, right? So it's absolutely ab an absolute necessity when it comes to the Apple Vision Pro. Now, before I, you know, ramble on too much. What am I getting at here? Well, the Apple Vision Pro, what do you notice about this? Look how bulky it is. I mean, this is not the future. Really what the future is, where is my glasses here, right here, is this. This is the future, right? We'd want to see something like this with the Apple Vision Pro. Be that thin and just be able to put it on like this and you have all the same features of the Apple Vision Pro except on some glasses like this. And we all know that's the future that we are going to see. We just aren't there yet. And when I started to do research on it and figure out ways that we could get there and how we may be already on the way to this, but with the features of the Apple Vision Pro, it actually surprises you. And it's, I think it's going to surprise you. And it surprised me how much the render network actually may be needed for this future. It's kind of crazy. So how, what exactly is that? Well, Obviously, we know Apple has no doubt ambitions to get to here. And I started talking to ChatGPT to kind of get a concise information on this and asking, you know, what was the problems? Why, why are the reasons we don't have, you know, this already here? And a lot of the reasons I actually asked if we used render farms or cloud-based computing to power, could we get there? And yes, leveraging render farms or cloud based computing to offload the heavy processing tasks could significantly help in reducing the size and weight of AR glasses, bring us closer to the sleek form factor we're aiming for. Here's how. And this is actually a conversation that I've seen people are actually having, right? So it's not just an idea that I came up with or a thought that I came up with. No, this is actually, I think, maybe where we're heading to. And now that we're seeing internet speeds, you know, this re this uh, research just came out very recently in 2024 here, uh, 4.5 million times faster than average broadband, right? Sending internet even faster. The idea of cloud computing in these render farms being able to be massively leveraged to get us a world like this could be huge because obviously the biggest barrier to, to this idea right now and slimming down this hardware would be the latency, right? That That's the biggest thing. I mean, even look at, I mean, video games, they have amazing latency, but when it's on your eyes, you need to have almost, you know, real time. It needs to be as real time as possible. Now, I believe when we start to see internet speeds just get so extremely fast where it's it is basically real time or indistinguishable from real time because internet speeds are probably literally faster than our eyes can communicate to our brain. Well, that's when you could start leveraging render farms to be able to do this. And we have to remember, Apple 
is already being used or is already leveraging render. We seen them in the commercial here. You can see the render logo here. I broke that down quite a few times. That is the render logo. Uh, so I don't think this is too far of a fetch to make at all. And we actually know, and we can see here that the whole augmented reality market value is expected to reach 432 billion by 2031. I mean, that's just one feature, one part of render. That's not to mention the, the gaming and all the other uh, um, aspects you could use the render farm and the render network. And remember, the render network is you and me with our GPUs. I mean, I have a pretty good GPU. Overnight, uh, while I'm not using it, I could make render coin, make money by processing the render network, right? My GPU can process the render network and process all the rendering like a traditional render farm, except we're leveraging all people. And I think as we see these massive technological advancements, uh, we're gonna see a lot of moments where if you're not using something, well, you can make money by lending it, right? Whether that's my GPU or other, um, you know, things that we have laying around. I think in the future, tech-wise, they say GPUs, could be the new oil. We already see NVIDIA taking off like crazy. Um, yeah, it, that could definitely be the case, right? Especially if the demand starts to just heavily, heavily outweigh um, the supply that we can actually offer. So I think really the, the biggest part about this is eventually I, I envision a a place in a world where, you know, even in the military, whether it's the military, construction workers, wh whatever industry it is, that you're out there building stuff. You have to think the trades are probably the last thing to ever be taken, are gonna be taken over by AI. All the office jobs, heck, even probably me doing YouTube videos is gonna be taken over by AI and deep fakes before you know um, people out there actually building stuff uh, gets taken over because let's be honest, AI, some of the driving is a little whack. You don't want them building buildings just on their own just yet, <laughs> let's be honest. So, but but I do think um, what would come before AI takes all these jobs, and especially some of these uh, jobs that are people actually out in the field doing stuff, those are the safest jobs, is you were, I think we're going to get these glasses like the Apple Vision Pro. And as you can see here, where you put them on, it's thin, you know, it's your, your safety glasses, whatever. And you're able to just do your tasks throughout the day and um, it can guide you and help you understand, maybe pull up a blueprint while you're working on something. And that could just all be in these form factor glasses. The problem is we're not going to get there if we have to have this massive bulky hardware on the, on our head. That's not the future. What the future could be, and I think is going to be, is extremely fast internet speeds that we're already seeing um, start to come out. And that being leveraged with something like the render network that automatically is this render farm that just renders everything for the AR glasses to be hyper realistic, right? That's the point of render farms. You can just get this the most amazing quality possible and it's able to be right on your glasses there. So I think this is one of the biggest bullish factors for the render network that I haven't seen many people talk about. And I think that's actually where we're leading to. I think this is why we have the um, NVIDIA partnership here and this is, and it also relates back to, you know, the Apple um, basically partnership. Come on, let's let's be honest here with what we're looking at. Uh, and all, and, and and I do want to mention as well, Render Network is the cheapest out of all the render farms here. Uh, render Network is the cheapest, right? So it just makes sense. It's the most competitive, and it's 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 an amazing uh, company behind the Render Network. And um, you have to understand as well, the bullish tokenomics behind this is huge, right? The burning mechanisms, the inflation balance with the deflation is just so perfect. Uh, I think there's a lot of potential. I think there's a lot of reason why this had, you know, all time high, all time high, all time high. Every single retracement just seems like a buy. So yeah, guys, that's what I wanted to mention about render. I think it's absolutely huge. I think the use cases for the render network go a lot further than we're actually thinking of. And if I really, if I really start thinking about the future, you know, this is going to be the future. 100%. This is going to be the future. How are we going to get there? It seems a lot more likely that we're going to have fast internet speeds. I mean, we're already getting there before we start getting, um, you know, some of this tech really condensed right into this, into this form factor. I highly doubt, I believe that's going to be one of the last things to happen, um, versus just us seeing the, something like the render network leveraged. And this is what I really like about the render network. Why it's one of my biggest picks for this bull run is because 
all of the upcoming demand for tech, not just narrative wise, because narrative wise, it is very massive. You have to think any big AI news and most of them are going to take massive uh, GPU power. That's why we're seeing the video do so well. Any of this AI news is going to benefit render network. It's going to be bullish. But on top of that, we're going to see the render network be leveraged before we see the hardware really start to just be at a at an ultra competitive level where you know this form factor itself like all the hardware is held in here and actually i do want to mention i should have mentioned this earlier let's say the hardware could be condensed so much where you could fit it into the glasses just like this right let's say apple figured it out they're able to fit the hardware into this here well, the biggest problem that you have with that is now this becomes incredibly expensive and inaccessible to the average person. I mean, look at the Apple uh, Vision Pro. It's already extremely expensive. But if you were to think about this in a way where it was leveraging the cloud-based uh, rendering farm, right, the render network, for example, well, now you're getting into a realm where this becomes a lot more cheaper and accessible. Obviously, it's not going to be extremely cheap, but it's going to be cheaper than you know having a massive strong computer just sitting in the apple vision pro uh versus just you know leveraging um something like the render network which i would imagine makes things heavily uh just way more cheaper and in a competitive market where people would race to this you have to think meta's working on this so we have a, a apple vision pro everyone's trying to get on this vr especially ar um type of wave here the first one to make this is probably going to win. And we really do see Apple being the leader here. Let's be honest. Apple is the leader. And uh, I believe there's a reason that they are partnered with the render network. And I think this is going to be very huge. And at the end of the day, you could say there's other render farms, but render is the cheap, cheapest. Render is the one that leverages all of us, right? And I'm going to be honest, like... I don't care if, if maybe like, like the render network's able to be super competitive because my GPU is doing nothing at night. Why am I not going to, you know, leverage it out anyways? I'm going to be upgrading it in a few years, as I always do. I'm going to want to leverage it off if I can and if I'm able to. So, yeah, absolutely massive uh, speculation that could be pushed behind the render network here. I think this is going to have a great bull run. And yeah, that's what I'm betting on. I think this is a great narrative that's unexplored that could uh, come out out of nowhere. And uh, the partnerships are already there uh, to move in this direction. So, yeah, this is just this is what I've thought about it. And this is kind of um, what I've seen so far. If you guys seen any uh, more concrete research, please leave it in the comments. I'm still learning about the render network, uh, but I just see uh, so many bullish signs from from these guys. So leave a like, subscribe more render videos to come. So you guys better subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.